Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a slightly different video that I've never done before, which is really exciting. In honor of Valentine's Day, which to be honest, I am actually a fan of. Um, I feel like everything becomes pink, everything becomes red. And those are two of my favorite colors. I love anything pink, I love anything girly, I love things with hearts on. Take this for example, it's a Valentine's Day, um, a Valentine's Day Funko that was made specifically for Valentine's Day. I would never really buy normal coloured Grogu, but if it's pink, I'm buying it. So in celebration of Valentine's Day, I decided to do a blind date with a book, which I always see people doing and I think it looks so fun and I've always wanted to do it. So I've been like having a look around different places near me or online that do blind dates with a book. I found a company called Happily Ever After, which do kind of book subscriptions and book boxes. And they do a kind of like blind date with a book box. So you get a book and you get other little bits of like treats and things in it, which sounds really exciting. You can, put, you can pick like different genres as well. So I went for something that I feel like I would love, which is sci-fi or fantasy. So hopefully I should read, hopefully I should love it. So I'm gonna open it now. I haven't opened it yet. It came the other day, but I was waiting till today to film this and to open it on camera. But yes, this is what it looks like. It's a nice little box. I've taken my dress off so that no one doxes me. Also, oh, no one doxes me, so I don't dox myself. So yeah, it's happily ever after bookbox.co.uk if you're interested. And I chose this one because they do lots of different options and they also put up some of their proceeds go towards like animal charities um, and all of the like treats and chocolate and stuff are vegan as well, which I think is really good and good for the environment. And that's what made me pick this one above other ones. I just think it's doing something good as well as giving me a little treat. So let's get to opening this. I need some scissors. Okay, so it's very pa tightly packed actually. The grand opening. Wow. So this is kind of what it looks like. You can see we've got like coffee here. I think this is like chocolate. First of all, we have these coffee bags by New King's Coffee, which are, I've never had coffee bags. So I'm really interested to try these. I think the box can come with coffee or it can come with herbal tea or fruit tea but I'm more of a coffee kind of person, so I'll be having these later. I feel like drinking coffee and reading a book is just supreme, like there's nothing like it. And then onto the chocolate, there's a Mr. Poppy's chocolate minty milk. So I think this is like mint chocolate, which I actually really love. Mint chocolate is like one of my favorite things. So I'm really interested to try this. It's plant-based chocolate, which looks really good. And luckily for me, I love mint and I love chocolate, so I love mint chocolate. Oh, and then we have another chocolate. This is gingerbread cookie oat milk chocolate. Oh my God. <laughs> it's by Hip. I think I've seen this brand before, but I love the packaging as well. Look at that. I think, you know, I've been obsessed with gingerbread lattes since Christmas and it's now February and I'm obsessed still with gingerbread. So this is perfect. I can't believe I've got mint chocolate and gingerbread, which are two things I really love. I'll probably snack on them while I um, read my book. Okay, and then it's got a little card. Ooh, we've got a bookmark. Reading is a window to the world. This is really pretty. Look, it's got little flowers everywhere and it says happily ever after on the back. And then, oh, oh, this is the little card that tells me about which animal charity the money gone towards. Oh, it's the money has gone towards to purchase winter feed for a couple of months for farm animal rescue sanctuary cute oh it says it will be fed particularly to the most vulnerable sheep the elderly and disabled who will benefit from putting on some weight to keep warm in the winter oh i love sheep they're so cute see these are the things that i'm like oh i really love animals and i'm vegetarian myself so i feel like these things will be helping them out load and then onto the book this is it it's all wrapped up which it's exciting it's like christmas all over again <laughs> okay let's unwrap I don't, I'm, I'm really hoping this is something I don't have. I think it, I imagine it won't be because I don't actually own, despite reading a lot of sci-fi and fantasy, I don't own a lot. I mean, it's gonna make a really comical video if I open this and it's something I already have or already own. I already have the, the same thing. Something that I already have read. Oh, 
string is hot. Okay, the string's off. Oh, time for some ASMR unwrapping. Oh my god. Oh, it's got a spray dish. Oh my god. Oh, it looks really nice. You can see what it is before me. This One Sky Day by Leonie Ross. Look at how nice this cover is. It's like, it's like acrylic. Oh my God, there's texture on the front as well. Oh my God, I've never heard of this book before. Wait, okay. It says, Dawn breaks across the archipelago of Poppish Show. The world is stirring awake again, each resident with their own list of things to do. A wedding feast to conjure and cook, a cheating husband to discover, a lost soul to set free. As the sun rises, two star-crossed lovers try to find their second chance at abiding love. When night falls, all have been given a gift and many are no longer the same. The sky is pink and some wonder if it will ever be blue again. That's very intriguing. It doesn't really give you much, but I think that sounds like something I would like. I feel like it doesn't really give too much away so I feel like I'm truly am on a blind date with a book. So it sounds like it's very much like speculative fiction. Okay oh I'm so happy with this. I'm so excited to read it. I don't know anything about it. It sounds like anything could happen which I think is actually perfect. So I'm probably gonna read some of this eat my chocolate and I will come back and give an update on what I'm thinking when I start this. I should, I'll probably be starting it relatively soon so it won't be too long. update. I just filmed this and it, my mic wasn't working so it, there was no sound. <laughs> but okay, so so I'm reading, I've got about halfway through now and I can say it's a lot more magical realism than I thought it would be at first. We're kind of following three different perspectives of people who live on this island called Popisho, which is kind of like a Caribbean um, inspired island and everyone or most at least most people are born with these abilities or powers but they're not like superpowers um they can be from like really useful things like healing or they could be the most mundane random thing like I don't know just anything so we like I said we're following three different perspectives first one first one is Xavier he's just lost his wife and the power that he has is that he can kind of like cook anything he's kind of like this head chef um and he can cook food and anything that he cooks, he can make taste like anything. So he's kind of famous for it. And um, he can also kind of like see the things that people really like, he can like sense the food that people really like, and then he can also just make it for them. So he's kind of been tasked with cooking the dinner for the wedding dinner for the daughter of the main politician of the island. Then we also follow a niece who is a healer and she kind of can also set, she can kind of sense the ailments that people have and then also heal them. And she's been suffering with um, infertility and also has recently suspected her husband of cheating. So we kind of follow her through these things. And then 
finally, we follow two twins who are the children of the main kind of politician. We follow Santine, who is about to get married. She's quite young and innocent, and it's kind of like following her prior to her wedding day. And then we follow Romanza, who is kind of like a bit of a free spirit, and he's kind of left the family to go and live in this, they're called like indigent, so kind of like people who live very naturally in the wild. Um, and we see a lot about his identity and the issues that has caused. Yes, so it, the start was quite slow because of obviously we are kind of getting to know these characters and it goes quite in depth um, with the characterization and learning about the characters, what's happening in their lives, what's been happening in their lives, um, which I think was, I really enjoy. I really like when we get kind of deep characterization and we really get to know characters and they feel very real. Um, and we also get really good world building. So the, so like the descriptions are all really beautiful. The island sounds like it's really beautifully described and written. We get so like lush descriptions of food and the landscape and everything that's happening here. And there's all these different little, little there's like at the start, especially there's like all these different threads of like magical realism running through it with different abilities and things happening. If you've read this, you'll know what I'm talking about, but something happens in this and it seems it is very uh, it's very absurd it's very strange um i was on the floor when when this happened because of it. it's just so strange it's such a strange thing um i mean it kind of makes sense in the world but at the same time it's a bit it felt a bit more extreme but yeah it had me on the floor i'm sure that maybe there's a point to it i can't see the point at the moment i'm kind of like okay i'm still like just a bit floored by it flawed by what's happened uh, it's very strange but I'm enjoying the book so far um I'm curious to see where it's going I'm very curious to see where it's going um I think the characters are so well done that and I kind of want to see what's happening with all of them and you can kind of see a bit of a thread of how things are coming together and how kind of the characters connect together um in a certain way so I'm really interested to see how that comes together yes I can't wait to read some more and I'll come back and hopefully figure out what's happening <laughs> Where do we start? Last time I spoke on here, I think I was saying that something quite strange happened. It was a bit like, you know, very magical realism, very strange, quite a little bit absurd. And I was hoping it would go somewhere. Not really sure what, why it happened. I was trying to say something, but I'm not sure what it was saying. Um, this probably doesn't make any sense unless you know kind of the twist in it, but yes. Let's go through what I thought. The thing that I really enjoyed the most about this was kind of the characters and the world. The world building is, is very unique. And I think that's something that really stands out about the book is how unique it is. Um, it's not one that I'll forget in a lot for a long time um for different reasons the world is it feels so magical but also real at the same time and also all the characters are so well done that they feel really believable and they feel like real people different and diverse cast of characters that we're following and you kind of really feel so attached to them and what they're going through and all these different emotions for them and with them um, and i also really liked how all the kind of like perspectives that we follow kind of all came together in what was happening in this on this island so we're kind of following it's not too much that's happening but it all just kind of like comes together with the characters and the world and it all makes sense kind of makes sense not everything makes sense but <laughs> I mean if we can kind of get over the bits that don't make sense you can see how all the characters kind of connect in a way like we follow all of like their kind of like their yearning and their love and their heartbreak and all of their pain and the kind of like the struggles that they're going through you really feel connected to them i also think that that there's a lot of commentary on lots of different things but i feel like maybe it's it feels like i always wanted a little bit more on those things so maybe it could have been like i think i might have liked it a little bit more if we'd got a little bit 
we didn't cover as many topics and it was kind of a bit more focused on a few of them rather than all of them if that makes sense and also I felt that the book kind of went on for a little bit too long I feel like there were some parts where I'm like like I didn't I wasn't as invested and I kind of felt myself like getting a little bit distracted when I was reading it like I really liked say like the commentary on kind of like corruption and women's bodies and women's autonomy like sexual harassment and corruption and infertility things like that that come up I really I quite enjoyed the commentary on those kind of topics and there's kind of like all these political kind of undertones to everything that's happening we see all how um different characters with we're following they kind of come together and interact with each other in different ways all for this one kind of like this event that's kind of happens i feel like i was really invested in the characters um there's one thing that happens in it which again like i said i'm not actually sure what the point i, I feel like maybe i'm missing the point but i don't really understand why it happened or what it means or like just like it feels so absurd and maybe that's the point i feel like i could go over it. I was floored when I read it. I, I put the book down for a second. I was like, what just, did that just happen? Did that really just happen? I, I kind of see the point of what was happening and the commentary it was trying to make on certain things. Very unique and it's not one that I'll forget anytime soon. I think I like a generally a little bit of magical realism, but not too much and I think maybe there was slightly too much in this for me but everything else I really enjoyed and really liked I actually I'm not decided I haven't I haven't figured out <laughs> what I'm gonna rate this I think maybe it's like it's like between a 3.5 and 4 but yeah I really enjoyed my blind date with my book it was very very memorable I'm not gonna forget this book anytime soon uh, I really loved how everything kind of like came together at the end of the novel as well I feel like I really like <laughs> I like it when you see bits and pieces of a puzzle kind of coming together through all these different perspectives and at the end like everything kind of like you see how everything kind of is connected or most things are connected some things I didn't get but <laughs> some things I didn't get but I feel like most of it kind of come together and I really enjoyed so yes I really enjoyed my blind date with a book um it was not something that I think I would usually pick up so I'm so glad that I did because of I really enjoyed reading it and yes Happy Valentine's Day everyone. Hope you enjoyed coming on this little journey with me. I had a really good time making this video, reading this book for this video and trying to get it up on time. <laughs> so yes, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've gone on a blind date with a book before. I feel like I'd love to do this again. I don't know when. I'll have to find some excuse to do it again. Have you read this book? What did you think of this book? And if you have read this book, what did you think of that big thing that happens that is very strange and absurd? Um, what did you think? If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then you can subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!